Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about some of the reasons why you might not be able to move a layer inside of GIMP. So the first and most straightforward reason could be that you have a lock on the layer for movement. So if you look over in the layers window, by default that's in the bottom right, there is a lock for each layer, lock position and size. So if I click lock position and size on this layer right here, you can see that now that lock for the movement now is darker color. And if I try to hover over the logo that that layer composes of, you can see it's not going to let me move. So here they'll give two indications why I can't. One is that in the layers panel, it'll show that the lock is in place. And then down here at the bottom, the very bottom, it'll say the active layers position is locked. So although that's probably the most obvious reason, it's actually not the issue I usually run into. So another likely possibility and the reason why I opened up a document that as you can see already has like 10 layers in it is because by default when you are selecting the move tool if you look down to the tool options you'll see for tool toggle the default option is pick a layer or guide. So what this means is that when you press left click with your move tool it's going to be selecting the topmost visible layer that you can see on screen not necessarily the layer that you have selected in your layers window. So the tool toggle switches between pick a layer or guide to move the active layer. So if, so if you want to make sure that you're moving a very specific layer, no matter where you click on the screen, then you're either going to want to check this radio button for move the active layer, or you can hold shift or you can hold shift down to temporarily toggle it to move the active layer. So let's show how it looks by default when you have a layer selected, but you click to move something else. So we can see I have this Unity logo layer. I also have it selected in the layers window. But if I click on a pixel that is transparent, where it would actually be a background layer, then you can see I'm not moving that Unity logo. I'm actually moving one of the background layers, in this case, uh, kind of this black screen I have towards the bottom of my layer list. So when you left click, it's going to be selecting the one that has the active colored pixel not the one you have selected in your layers window. So like I said, the way to get around this is first you select the layer in your layers window, then you hold shift down to move the active layer. And now no matter where you press on your screen, it's going to be moving the layer you have selected, not the layer that is attached to the pixel you clicked on. So I'll control Z this a couple times. Okay, so one more reason why you might not be able to move if you look in the move tool options, the first option is layer, the second one is selection, and the third one is path. So this is going to be what you're actually moving when you're pressing your left mouse button down. So by default, you would put this in layer, but often if you accidentally click on selection, you'll run into this issue where if you hover over the screen, you have the cannot do anything symbol, the little circle with the cross through it, even if I select a different layer, and even if I'm hovering over it, I can't move that. If you left click, then it'll hover that the reason is over here and this move selection. And at the bottom, it'll say there's no selection to move. So usually I wouldn't use this move selection mode, but what it can actually do is move not the pixels on the screen, but the location of your selection box. So if I go to rectangular select tool and I left click hold and drag a rectangular box around the screen, normally when I do something to this, it's going to be modifying the pixels. But if you do move mode, in move selection, it's going to be moving the location of that box. So if you need to get a selection box into the perfect position before you do anything to it, like going down to the layer you're trying to cut from, and then doing a command X to delete everything there, then the move selection is how you can get it into location before you make a change. And then the path tool would only be for moving path curves, which don't actually have a physical presence in your document but they would show up here in the paths windows. So paths are created with the paths tool and I'll just press around the screen a few times to create a path. You can see that that shows up here in the paths window close to layers, but it doesn't actually have a presence on the screen. So if I use move tool with paths and I select that paths tool, let's check the eye so that we can actually visibly see it. Then uh, you can see we can move the location of that path, which you can use for uh, text along path effects and stuff like that. But usually you're going to keep it in layer mode because you're actually trying to move a layer around your screen. So if moving doesn't seem to actually do anything to your layers, then just make sure you're in layer mode. And once again, to quickly recap, make sure that you don't have your layers locked in the bottom right down here. And if you're trying to move a specific layer, 
you can use move the active layer in order to do so and then select the layer you want to move. So if I select the unity image, and then I hold shift down and click on the document anywhere, no matter where I press, it's going to be moving the active layer, which is what's selected over here in the layers window with the white box. So I think that is every problem I've ran into trying to move layers or content around inside of Kemp. So I hope this video was able to answer all of the questions regarding that. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future video content.